who would win of the week this week is Snap, Crackle, and Pop versus the Keebler Elves. Keebler Elves, I feel like, you know, because I was doing so, I was looking some things up for this. I what are like Snap, Crackle, and Pop? What are they? They're also elves, I believe. I mean, they look like elves. They must yeah. be. We look it up. Yeah. What are Snap, Crackle, and Pop? Yeah. They're interdimensional beings. Uh, that was Whoa. pretty good. What? The good Google. They're cartoon mascots. Are they what children? Is? Are they children? Ah, eh, they got elf ears. They're elves. Okay, yeah, they're elves. Gnome-like they're they're elves. gnome-like elves. Yeah. So it's an elf on elf. elf it's on elf on elf, elf violence yeah. here. Elf on elf crime. Oh, sorry. I thought that was my previous Google search history. <laughs> but I feel like because you know you like snap, crackle, and pop. That's what they go by. They're not like the rice crispy. People don't call them like the rice crispy elves. They call them snap, crackle, and pop. Keebler elves. They have a little less individual name recognition. Buckets, dude. So let's t- yes. So we're going on the the four main Keebler elves yeah. from the El, El Fudge, Fudge cookies. cookies. You got Ernie, yeah. who is obviously the leader. OG, yeah. You have uh, Fast Eddie, who I love in Fast my Eddie. mind is second in command. You've got Elwood, who's like the Han Solo of the group. Yeah. And then you have Buckets, who's kind of like the comic relief. Here's what I'm saying. Buckets dude. is like the the sleepy of like the door you know what i mean like he's uh-huh. yeah around. he's a sleepy yeah. he's a sleepy mm-hmm. um because here's the thing it's it's four on three but i gotta say dude buckets is cannon fodder buckets is going down early wow. he's almost a non-factor yeah i mean buckets buckets will either be the first or the last to die only last is if like he just like wanders off and like misses the fight yeah 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 yeah. and then they if his alarm doesn't down. go yeah. off yeah Here's the thing. <sighs> Snap, Crackle, and Pop, I would consider, I would say, like, they're equals. I don't think there's one that is, you know, they, they work in unison. Very much Powder, Powerpuff Girl, Powder Puff, what's their Powerpuff act? Girl. Powerpuff Girl. Yeah. Ask mm-hmm. the Snap, crap, Crackle, and Pop boys. Whereas the thing that I like about the El Fudge Cook uh, Elves, the cookies I call them as I as I will refer to them as is, as you said, Elwood, Ernie, Ern yes, yeah, sorry, Elwood. Okay, Ernie, I agree. Very much so is like a leader. He's their general, and every good army needs, needs a, a good, good general. general. And then Fast Eddie executes. He's got. A hundred plus confirmed kills. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm talking Chris Kyle style. Yeah, you know, not. He's not the yeah. hot shot that Elwood is, but he gets he takes care of business. He kicks the door That's down. That's not his job, though. Yeah. That's not his job. Because you want to know why? Because he sh- he shoots first, asks questions later. He's an ask for forgiveness, not ask for permission kind of guy, and that is what Ernie loves. Ernie is Jethro Gibbs. Ernie. Dude, thank God I was able to work on CIS in this episode. <laughs> that was close. We were, <laughs> that was a close one. We almost didn't get it in. Ernie is Jethro Gibbs. I almost had to be like, I think Snap is more of a Ziva uh, type. Elwood, I don't really know. Yeah, honestly. Elwood's a Han Solo, Fast dude. Ernie is kind of like Ziva. And then um, yes. Elwood is... Is uh uh, uh Denozo. Tony Denozo. Yes, a hundred percent. And, and Buckets then, is McGee. No, he's do- he's Dornigat. What? You don't know Dornigat? No. Oh, you gotta watch. Look him up. All right, give me fifteen. Dornigat. Dornigat. NCIS. Ding 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 ding. This guy. Yeah, he's Dornigat. <laughs> oh, so okay. Dornigat That's joins awesome. as an agent, yeah. and Gibbs makes him work in like the um, evidence room for like five years. Oh my god! But then he works his way up, and he becomes a sick agent. Dies instantly, of course. Classic no Gibbs way. Kurt. Yeah, gets blown to smithereens. This like actor, this assignment. actor is perfect. I know this actor. He's perfect for the role that you're describing. Yeah, he's a Dornigat ass. Like he actor. makes a lot of mistakes, yeah. but Gibbs ends up really liking him, and he becomes like a good agent. And then his first like big solo assignment, they're like, ah, we sent you to the wrong place. They're actually going to be in this other country or whatever. 
and then turns out they got bad info. He gets he gets blown to smithereens being the hero. He's ushering everybody out like, no, there's b- bomb, bomb. Dude, she dies, yeah. And then it yeah, turns out his mom's like the president. And they're like, oh, we didn't know they were related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, that's a risk. That's a risk. But dude, I, I'll tell you, the not again to your point, like Snap, Crackle, and Pop not having a definitive leader because your Powerpuff be example, it's gonna be. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be pure chaos. Your your Powerpuff girl example is perfect because they're always in because fighting. Because I stuff. think I think they will. They probably work well in unison. But when you have a general like Ernie, he's gonna fi- he's gonna know how to split them up you know what i mean whether it be you know again whether frustrate them to the point where they're against each other yes or whether 100%. it be you know if they might fight good as a team but when you can get all three in different areas you might be able to you know bing bang no, boom, of course because ernie being the team leader that he is he understands group dynamics yeah his whole i mean can you imagine trying to can you imagine being a keebler elf and elwood shows up and you're like you gotta you gotta whip this kid into shape you got to earn this kid's respect. That's not easy, brother. Yeah. Ernie knows how to do that stuff. And Snap, Crackle, and Pop, my God, they're getting the shit kicked out of them this fight. Because, if I may continue, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, they don't fucking do anything. They've got the name recognition, but what do they fucking do? Nothing. The Keebler Elves, you know why most people don't know Fast Eddie, Elwood, or even Ernie's name? And Fucking God buckets. forget buckets. Nobody I knows do love buckets. buckets. You gotta love buckets, but Jesus Christ! Again, he, the guy is non-factor. cannon fodder. He is yeah. a non-factor in this fight. Um, it's because they're working. They're pumping out a product. They're not just hanging around in that tree. They're, if they don't get to work, the cookies don't go out on time. And yeah. Snap, Crackle, and Pop have no discipline. Here's the other thing. I I okay. I'm about to take a fat dump on Rice Krispies. As a cereal. I'm, Probably make them taste better. No. Damn. And here's the thing. I love rice. I actually love Rice Krispies as a cereal, but only with one way. I like them. When they're Cocoa Pebbles. No. I oh. like them if you slice up a banana inside of them. Like if you slice up a banana and put it inside. It just. I, that's what I like. They're named Snack, Crackle, and Pop. If you pour a bowl of Rice Krispies. You have about 37 seconds to consume the entire thing if you want to be eating during the crispy snap, crackle, and pop era. Yeah. After that initial 30-whatever seconds I said, you're eating a bowl of mush. It becomes cream of wheat. It yeah. becomes rice pudding. Dude, fucking cream of wheat's gas, too. Just saying. What People, the dude. fuck? fuck? Dude, they came out, Quaker came out with... Uh, oh, the new Quaker? The new <laughs> no, Quaker drop, no, dude? No, this is a while. A while ago, they <laughs> came out with Cinnabon cream of wheat. Whew, Andy, this shit would knock your socks off if you got your hands on it. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Yeah, thank fucking God. <laughs> I agree with you. I think the EL Fudge this podcast boys... brought to you by Elmwood Retirement Homes. <laughs> Guys, cream of wheat is doing crazy. <laughs> when the new cream of wheat drops, you want to be on schedule. Dude, I'm telling so you. So have your life alert. Because <laughs> I think, I might have made this up, but I think cream of wheat has like a high, higher protein than regular oatmeal. Dude, they only do ads for cream of wheat on life alerts. You get notifications <laughs> on life alert for when the new Quaker Oats product drops. Look up... Uh, all right, wait. No, let's finish this. Yes, let's 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 put let's put snap crackle yeah. and pop in the ground. Suck it, snap crackle and pop. Suck it. Wait. Never mind. Fuck it. Never <laughs> fuck mind. It. Never mind. Suck, suck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> um, more like suck I'll- it. Fuck it. <laughs> and kill yourself. <laughs> That's not funny. I can't believe they didn't name them that. <laughs> yeah, that would have sold their shoe really well. Um, I'm taking the EL Fudge Boys. You're taking the EL Fudge Boys. Clean sweep. Vote on that on Friday on Instagram. Militia of L. EL Fudge Boys versus uh, Snap, <laughs> Crackle, and Pop. Look at that picture. Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Vote on that on Instagram. Anybody. Movement of the week. Yeah, that's OG. Those guys. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, Google Cinnabon Cream of Wheat, please. <sighs> And then I'm calling the show. <laughs>